Hello and welcome to Mr. Brandt's 5th grade everyday math review. Today we're going to be going over lesson 3.12 which is solving fraction number stories. The first number story we're going to do here is a Boy Scout troop was having a camp out. They used 4 and 1 -fifth containers of marshmallows for s'mores on Friday night and 2 and 4 -fifths containers of marshmallows on Saturday. How many more did they use on Friday? So, because they're they want to know the difference between the two, that's going to give us a subtraction problem. So, we have 4 and 1 fifth subtract 2 and 4 fifths. Now, later on in the year, we're going to do um, a different algorithm to solve this. Today, I'm going to use a picture and a number line. So, to start with, we're going to start with our biggest number, and that biggest number is 4 and 1 fifth. Three, four, and two, three, four. So that gives me that gives me five sections. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to shade this in. We're going to imagine that they're all the same size. So this represents four in one fifth containers of marshmallows. I need to take away two and four fifths of those containers. So I'm going to start with my whole number, 2, and I'm going to get rid of two of those containers. And I'm left with two containers and one-fifth. Now I need to take away four-fifths. I only have one-fifth here to take away. So in order to take away um, four-fifths, I have to take one more of the whole containers and separate that into fifths. So one, two fifths, three fifths, four fifths, and five fifths. And now I can take away four fifths of the remaining pieces. So this is one, taking away one fifth, two fifths, three fifths, and four fifths. So after taking away the two and the four fifths, I'm left with one whole and two-fifths of another container. So four and one-fifth subtract two and four-fifths is the same as one and two-fifths. Now I can also do that with a number line. It's not the straightest line, but it'll do. So we've got zero, one, two, three, Four and five. Since each of since the pieces are in fifths, I'm going to separate or I'm going to divide each um, each section into fifths. So I'm going to start with between one and two. So for each one, this would be one, one and one fifth, one and two fifths, one and three fifths, one and four fifths, one and one and five fifths, or two. So two and one fifth, two and two fifths, etc. Our starting point is four. Our our starting point is four and one fifth. So here's four and one fifth. I need to take away two and four fifths. So if I take away one whole, one equals five fifths. So one, two, three, four, five fifths gets me to there. So that's, that's taking away one. From here to here, so one fifth, two fifths, three fifths, four fifths, five fifths, that's taking away another whole. And for the last, I'm going to do a different color for the fifths. <clears throat> so now I have to take away four fifths, one, two, three, four, which gets me to this spot right here. So that's taking away four fifths. So for my starting point of four and one fifth, taking away one hole, one hole, and four fifths, that gets me to one and 
uh, one and two fifths right here, right? For a second one, it's kind of the same problem, just tweaked a little bit. So a Boy Scout troop was having a camp out. They used three and one fourth containers of marshmallows for s'mores on Friday night and two and two fourths containers of marshmallows on Saturday. How many marshmallow containers did they use in all? So with this, this problem, we're putting things together. So we're going to be adding. So our problem is three and one fourth plus two and two fourths. So again, we could use um, we could use a picture. So there's my three and one fourth, and then to that I'm going to add two and two fourths. So here's my two whole. And I'm going to add two fourths to my original one fourth. So that would give me one, two, three, four, five, five whole uh, containers, and then three fourths of another container. And uh, I'll go ahead and show you on a number line again. Ooh, that's not bad. So zero, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, and six. So my starting point is three and one fourth. So I'm going to separate this into one fourth sections. So three and one fourth, three and two fourths, three and three fourths, four, four and one fourth, four and a half, four and three fourths, five, then five and one fourth, five and two fourths, or five and a half, and five and three fourths, and then six. So three and one fourth is my starting point right here. To that, I'm going to add two and two fourths. So one whole. One is the same as four fourths. So one, two, three, four will get me to here. So that's plus one. Then one, two, three, four to here. That's another plus one, which gives me my plus two. And then two more fourths, one, two. So plus two fourths. And that is five in five five and one fourth five and two fourths five and three fourths and for the practice session or the practice section at the bottom uh, we have some volume and by no means is this the best thing ever drawn but it should should be helpful so remember when we have two sections um, of a figure we have to find volume separately so volume equals length times width times height. And I'm going to start with this bottom portion. So the bottom portion, the length is, I'm going to pick a different color. The length is 8 centimeters. The height is 4 centimeters. And the width, so from front to back, is 3 centimeters. So the, the volume of the bottom section is 8 times 3 for the width, times 4 for the height, and 8 times 3, let's go with 3 times 4 is 12, 12 times 8 is 96. So that's 96 centimeters cubed for the bottom portion. For the top portion, it is uh, the length, so from left to right is 3 centimeters. The width from front to back is also three centimeters. And then the, the height is six centimeters. So the length is three centimeters times the width of three centimeters times the height of six centimeters. Three times three is nine. Nine times six is 54. So that gives us 54 centimeters cubed. 
and after we find the volume of the two sections, then we're going to add those pieces together. 6 plus 4 is 0, or excuse me, 6 plus 4 is 10. 6 plus 4 is 10. 1 plus 9 is 10, plus 5 is 15. So the volume of this particular figure is 150 centimeters cubed. Remember, you have to find the volume two separate times, one for the top section, one for the bottom section, and then add them together. Uh, thanks for sticking around to the end. Uh, hope this video was helpful for you, and we'll see you in another video.